Port Sea Island is a flat, low-lying island just off the southern coast of England. Predictions indicate that sea levels are set to rise by up to a metre over the next 100 years, and many of the current coastal defences are approaching the end of their effective lives, meaning the flood risk to the area will increase. In 2014, the government awarded £58 million to Portsmouth City Council to deliver the North Portsea Island Scheme. Construction began in 2015 and is being delivered in five construction phases over a period of 10 years. The scheme covers 8.4 kilometres of Portsmouth's coastline, from Tipner through to Milton. Coastal Partners are a shared management service for, for local authorities in the area and Coastal Partners are currently delivering the North Portsea Island Coastal Defence Scheme on behalf of Portsmouth City Council. Mackley was selected to carry out the works because we completed Phase 1 in 2016 and we specialise in this type of coastal defence works. And we also completed the award-winning Shore Amada Tidal Walls project. We've currently constructed Phase 1, 2 and 3 and at the moment we're in construction of Phase 4 which is down the Eastern Road. We started by raising the road into Kendall's. Following that, we built a new stone embankment about 100 metres long. Then we did a 150 metre long sheet piled wall, which we clad in timber. We've been widening the footpaths, we've put in more seating in, um, and also improving the areas. We've planted loads of trees, also wildflowers. We've planted lots of wildflowers to make it a beautiful space for all. Well, this year we've constructed a 600 metre long concrete wall along the existing defence line uh, which has incorporated 100 metres worth of glass panels and we've also uh, raised the slipways of the Andrew Simpson Sailing Club and Tudor Sailing Club. Andrew Simpson's next door were sharing our slip from just after Easter until early July while their slipway was being rebuilt and then from early July um, we were sharing their slipway uh, while ours was done so it's basically been pretty much business as usual. One of the big challenges on this project is the ecological finish on the concrete wall which needs to be formed with a form liner. So we set up a concrete working group to ensure that we got the right quality. So this involved the concrete supplier, the form liner manufacturer, the designers, the environmental team and the guys who actually had to build the wall. We also constructed a test panel in the yard to perfect the technique. The form liner is, has been developed to create habitat on the wall itself. It's what's called greening the grey and we've developed it with um, background of PhDs so it's not just a crazy design, it is um, backed in robust science and we'll get species growing on the wall. It'll also help the resilience of the wall so it will protect against wave energy once the seaweed's growing and it also stops the wall drying out so it helps the, the longevity of the wall itself. The team also trialled a project involving the transplantation of salt marsh. We dug up the salt marsh um, before the work started, put it into tonne bags and left it in the marine environment for while we built the seawall. Once we'd finished the seawall we've replanted it and um, it will start recolonisation of a wider area. So the nature of this work does mean there is some disruption. However, we've worked with local businesses to minimise that as much as possible. You know, we felt very well informed by MacLeys um, throughout the process. We had regular meetings with them. Um, they let us know their timescales so we could prepare for the inevitable disruption. We've had progress meetings with MacLey at regular intervals and generally speaking, things have been very good. We've had a very good relationship with Mackley. I think Mackley have performed really well through this project so far. Um, the quality of the wall is very good. We're very impressed with the works that they've done and also the stakeholder engagement that they've done with the key stakeholders has been very positive. We've got a great slipway, we've got the nice glass, uh, we've got extra lawn space which is great for our members and more compound space which is always good because we're always short of space for storing boats. So the biggest benefit to our members has been uh, the extra space on the slipway for storage of trolleys and also the boat park. Um, it, the surface is so much better for the trolley wheels and um, it just looks much smarter.
This project, when it's complete, will provide protection to 4,200 homes, 500 businesses and critical infrastructure over the next 100 years.